Hi, Sue here, the tenacious bitch. Notice the gloves. Um, she detailed the exterior of her car um, earlier um, this week. I think it was Sunday, but anyways, and can you see she's looking pretty good and the doors are open. I've washed her again because it rained yesterday. And uh, now I'm going to be doing um, steering wheel restoration. So I'm going into my car and I'm going to show you the tools I've got. So gloves to save your manicure. Uh, Dawn dish detergent. An old used up handy wipe that's damp. Magic eraser with a little Dawn dish detergent on it. I'm going to finish up with Kiwi scuff marks. Yes, this is a leather wrap steering wheel. And this is what it looks like. Ooh, look at that. You can see it's 32 years old and it's got some issues. So I've already attempted to do some cleaning. And um, what I've done was I take my, uh, and um, this has got 32 years worth of sweaty hands driving it in the Texas desert. And uh, even when your hands are clean, even when your hands are clean, you know, there's oils and stuff like that. And that just makes everything stick to this. So I'm going to be doing that a few times. And then the uh, handy wipe is for, you know, wiping this stuff off. And I'm going to keep doing this. And the, the uh, magic eraser is really great because it's, it's mildly abrasive. And it'll help take, you know, sand the leather a little bit, smooth it out, and stuff like that. And, uh, oh, and don't forget, I'm going to need a towel, too. So I'm going to keep doing that until my magic eraser looks pretty clean. And you can see, ooh, it's not too clean. So I'm going to keep doing that. And when, when, it, when I'm satisfied that it's clean enough, then I'm going to go do the next step with the Kiwi um, Scuff Polish black because that's the color of my steering wheel so until next time tenacious bitch signing out hi sue here the gloves are off manicure sort of ruined anyways here's my uh kiwi polish you shake it well with the cap on because if you don't you'll be sorry and uh you know it always helps to have a um a co-pilot hey susie susie ah uh, she's not hearing very well she used to say used to say susie she used to tip her head and look really cute so uh there she is that's how I keep, keep her safe. And then I'm going to apply it to all sides of this, all the way around, just where the, just where the leather is. Just where the, this is plastic, so I'm not gonna do it there. Just around where the leather is and let it dry and then buff it to a shine. And uh, so I, it, the, the towel came out clean. You can see this is uh, a little scarred up. Yeah, so uh, I YouTube this, you know, you don't get, take my word for it, but uh, this is what they use. And uh, if it doesn't come out good, Neil Jones in Wales, UK, he says he has a steering wheel that I could, I could buy from him. And he'll give me a free sticker with it too. So mm, I might be buying a steering wheel from him anyways, but we'll see how this works, okay? So I'm gonna uh, start applying this and, uh, and I'll, I'll show you a few strokes about how I do this, but right now I gotta get started and it takes two hands. Hi, Sue here. She's, she started doing this, you can see the black. I pushed down a little bit on that and oops, some of it dripped down on the steering wheel. So all I'm doing is this. I'm gonna put a nice even coating on it. I can't do the whole thing with, in, on the video, nor would you want me to. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't wanna get this on my clothes either. So. But I'm just doing that and I'm gonna allow it to dry. I'm gonna buff it to a shine and we'll see what it looks like when it's done. So I'm gonna concentrate on, my, on this task and I'll show what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so until a few minutes from now, Sue here signing off. And remember, if this tenacious bitch can do it, if I can do it, you can do it too. Hi, Sue here, the tenacious bitch. You know that white towel I told you about? Yeah, drape it over your lap and the seat in case some drips off. Now this is water-based. I did put a few drops on my seat. Good news, the seat is black, but I did wipe it off and uh, this dries pretty quickly. And uh, um, I'm gonna show you what it looks like behind here. Oh, I can see some places that I could probably put some more on because it was really scuffed from the sun, which I can't really see all that easily. So I'm gonna put some more on, but I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do afterwards. So I take my towel and see how well there's a little bit of dirt here but i'll do a clean part 
and see how that's coming out clean. So you can polish this to a nice shine and it feels nice to the touch. It's not gooey or greasy. Um, this is what it looks like on the front. Of course, this part down here wasn't so sun baked. But I'm going to be reapplying some cover back there. Oh, the drop cloth in my lap. And um, I'll get back to you and show what it looks like when I'm all done polishing it and it all looks great. And I'll tell you everything else that I learned, things to watch out for. So remember, drop cloth in the lap. Hi, Sue here. So I've reapplied that and um, some of it looked different because I forgot there's, you know, finger grips on the back. And uh, this is a stain and I am getting some on my hands, but it will wash off with soap and water and, you know, and do my manicure afterwards. Always do projects like this just before you think you want to do a manicure because you certainly don't want to wreck your manicure doing this now. So one of the things I'm doing is I'm wrapping my towel around the steering wheel and then I'm going to pull back and forth using two hands like this to, to polish the side that I can't see. That's another good thing that I'm going to do. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to finish this up and then I'm going to take, show you some pictures of how this steering wheel looks and I'm liking how it's looking. Hi, Sue here, the tenacious bitch. Well, our steering wheel's done. I've polished it all up. I'm going to show you what it looks like. It was all scuffed up before. Look at that. And it's all nice and shiny. Look at that. And uh, while I was waiting for it to dry, I used some of that uh, the VRP chemical guy stuff for plastic. And uh, I did the doors and I did the door handle. You can see it's a little bit scuffed up still. Policies up, stuck. Get the dust out of here. 32 years of dirt out of there. Polish that up. Man, she's looking new. So, here's another issue with my dash. See how I get cracked pieces in there? That is called vinyl repair. And that is a project for another day. And I'm trying to decide, hmm, should this tenacious bitch do it herself? Or should she pay somebody who's got some expertise? Ooh, I don't know. I think I'm going with Tenacious Bitch is going to do it herself. But she's going to do some more research and do some more video, uh, YouTube videos to see what other people say. And uh, so until next time, the Tenacious Bitch is signing off. The sun is setting. I think cocktail hour, oh, cocktail hour calls. And uh, this is what my little red beauty looks like. When the sun is setting on her, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how she looks. Oh, don't forget to put away your tools after you wash your car and all that kind of stuff because that's the last half of the job. So until next time, Tenacious Bitch is signing off. And remember, if she can do it, if she can do it, if I can do it, you can do it too.